One of the traditions of Christmas is to go out and get a Christmas tree to put up in your home. So there's many ways that you can go about this, whether you go to a tree lot, a retail store, go out in the woods and cut one down on the forest service land or to, at a tree farm. One of the important things you want to think about is initially where is the tree going to go in your home and how big of a tree can you get. You don't want to end up like my family always did growing up and find the perfect tree and come home and realize that it doesn't fit and you have to cut all the beautiful branches off on the bottom or the top to make it fit in your house. So the other thing you want to think about is what kind of tree do you want? So if you go to a tree lot, you're going to have three main choices available to you, either a fir, a pine, or a spruce. The fir and the pine are going to hold their needles better. The fir are going to be more fragrant. The spruce are going to lose their needles quicker. They're also going to be pokier. If you're thinking about decorating the, the tree and stringing lights and having your kids help, then you may want to think about having one with softer needles. Um, if you want to keep your kids out of the Christmas tree, maybe you want one with pokey needles. So, that's something to think about as well. From all of us here at From the Ground Up, we wish you a Merry Christmas and the best of luck in the search of that perfect tree. This has been Caleb Carter from the University of Wyoming Extension, and you're watching From the Ground Up.